G'day, g'day. It's another, actually, it's a horrible day here in Paradise, Christchurch, New Zealand. Today I'm going to run a couple of engines. These are hot air engines. One is a Stirling engine type and one is a vacuum engine type. Haven't run them, run them for ages. Stay with me. We're going to run these now. So we have, this is a German vacuum engine I got off eBay Germany some years ago. This has a graphite valve. It has a graphite uh, main valve here. It has a graphite, a turned graphite um, overpressure valve there. And it has a graphite piston. So this is a... Uh, a don't use any um, oils engine. Uh, very low friction. The other is another don't use any oils engine. This is made by um, PM Research in America. But this was what I would call PM Research's malaise era. these two going. Now I'm going to use two different um, methylated spirits but one of them is going to leave a residue in the engine one is not. Because I don't have very much of this I only use the clear one on my vacuum engines, not on my other methylated spirit engines. The problem with the uh, PM research is that it just goes nuts. It's Um, it goes too fast. We're going to try and look at that a bit. Another problem we get with it is that the little ball here gets stuck. Um, but that's not too hard to fix. We're going to fix that now. Uh, what we need is a long piece of rod. Not long enough. God, I had one here yesterday. This is how we free up the little ball in the pump. Yep, and I felt it just pop. Yep, felt that ball just pop off the end there. And um, that is a good start. We might stick a little bit of grease around the top of this. Of course, 
being careful because we don't want the grease to get in the in the piston. The reason I'm putting grease here is because this bloody thing rattles terribly. So we're going to try and grease up those rattly bits. So I've never I've never greased this before because you know I don't want to um, I don't want that grease getting down in the bore there, but I just can't stand the noise this makes. So we're just going to try it this this time. Still as rattly as anything, for goodness sakes. This burner is just awful. I've always meant to um, improve that by putting some kind of a um, speed adjustable thing on it and never got around to it. Here's another thing I want to do. This needs power to start and then you need to just take it right down. Otherwise it just goes nuts. Oh, far too much as usual. Let's take a bit out of there. Okay. That was a total, total fail of pouring the old meths there. Not enough, not enough, not enough. Far too much. Okay. Far too much. Right, we're going to fill up this thing with water. So we're going to be sucking water up into here, into the cooling area. So sticking my finger in there, my finger is getting burnt. So that's, ironically, that's a good start. Right. Let's get this thing going. So, the vacuum engine needs preheating, otherwise we're going to get a lot of nasty, nasty condensate screwing that up. Just going to move this to one side. Well, the grease has done all kinds of good to that. Oh, there it goes. This is what we get. It goes crazy. Anyway, let's just see. Let's just see. Nice. Nice. That would be enough. Try not to burn the hell out of myself. OK, 
Okay, that's with a bit of reduced um, flame on the old heat engine there, the hot air engine. Now this one will happily go for for ages. This one here will run for ages and ages. It's not going to get too hot because it has this massive heat sink on the back. It's from a really old computer back when computers had um, uh, back when computers had um, horizontal chip things. I can't remember whether it was a 486 or what it was. Uh, early Pentium. This is a um, made by an engineer in Germany. It's not a commercial engine of any kind. And I do like that. I am. Um, you don't get many. Um, you don't get many vacuum engines with graphite pistons. It's hot. Jin from Microcosm has released a beautiful um, pumping engine, uh, Ericsson pumping engine, really beautiful, much nicer gas um, burner, a little chimney which is what they should have. So I think I could really improve what's going on with that pump. And what is going on with that pump is it's not sealing, blowing water out the top and sucking air in. The engine runs too fast when it does that, and it doesn't pump properly. It's just not satisfying to watch. The fast running throws oil and water everywhere, which can get into the mechanism, the cylinder, the piston, and all those linkages wear out more than they should. So I'm going to search for a ring that will work in there. So just wiggling this back and forth, you see how that wiggles back and forth in there? Because of the way that's wiggling back and forth in that hole, I would say there's nothing for this to screw down on. There's no ring in there. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? No wonder it's not... Um How is going on here? No, that's my grease. Well, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. I need some kind of a um we need some kind of seal here, like a, a rubber ring of some kind. Just trying to figure out what that would look like. You know what? I 
think it would look very much like that. I think we'd just take the top off that so that it's that would screw down and then something else would screw down over the top of it.